How's it going guys? New YouTube channel, Unreal Health. So my main channel, Unreal Living, is kind of getting a little confusing because there's so many different topics that I want to talk about, but it's just a little confusing for my subscribers. So I wanted to make a health specific channel. So talking about veganism, talking about fitness, talking about just a high carb vegan lifestyle in general. So that's what we're going to go with on this new channel. So first topic that I just kind of wanted to brush upon is that is all curry paste vegan? Now you might just be thinking to yourself, well, it's just curry paste. It's probably it's just going to be vegan. It's just going to be some uh, some herbs and some other kind of weird concoctions and stuff to make the curry paste. Now what I found is that by going to the grocery store and looking at a lot of the curry paste out there, a lot of it actually isn't vegan. The majority of it actually is not vegan. A lot of it has some sort of shrimp product, some sort of shrimp paste added to it, so it's actually not vegan. So here in Walworths, I buy this, uh, it's called uh, Maisery. It comes in a little green uh, tin or a red tin or a yellow tin um, for, the, for the green curry paste, the red curry paste, and also for the, for the masaman curry paste. And so I use this stuff. It is definitely vegan, of course, or else I wouldn't be buying it. Something to keep in mind is that when you are purchasing products, whether it be curry paste or any type of packaged product, Make sure, read those ingredients, double check the ingredients because in a lot of stuff I found, even stuff that I bought and basically had to throw it away, is that some of it will have some sort of animal product in it and I didn't, and I didn't look through the ingredients properly, it has an animal product in it, it's usually some sort of like milk additive or something like that, something that they don't really need in there but they just throw it in there and that is no longer vegan. So with my, with my rice meals, being one of my staples uh, definitely for the evening. So I have some curry paste. Now with the curry paste, you have to remember this stuff is really, really high in sodium. So it's something that you really want to ration out. So typically, well here, a teaspoon and a half has over 500 milligrams of sodium. So you want to be, try to try to keep it as low as possible. So not quite a teaspoon and a half. So maybe like, uh, or sorry, tablespoon. So maybe half a tablespoon or something like that three quarters of a tablespoon, etc. Something that I also add that I definitely recommend is to get some organic rice milk. Now a lot of people they cook with uh, either coconut cream or they add coconut cream to the rice meals. Coconut cream, super high in fat, so if you want to live the high carb, high raw, vegan lifestyle and having some cooked food, you want to make sure that those cooked meals are still low in fat, so you're not using oil, you're not using coconut cream, definitely rice milk awesome alternative for using coconut uh, to using coconut cream keeps it still a nice kind of creamy texture but without all the fat so definitely recommendations definitely check out if your curry paste is vegan uh, if you're doing something like a, the raw till four diet if you're doing a McDougal style diet and you want to have some cooked food make sure make sure it's vegan awesome thanks so much for watching guys definitely subscribe to this channel you want to keep up to date with all of my uh, stuff that I'm going to talk about health, definitely have some of my, uh, my more ranting videos on this channel as well. So if you enjoy those, definitely, definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.